severe responding for a 25-year-old male who has been stabbed to the forearm. All other details are unknown. So we're going to an apartment that's known for uh, some gang uh, stuff. I'm wondering if it's not that he ones up here. Yeah, guaranteed that's where it is. We just kind of have to wait till the area is safe before we can go on scene. It's important that city police arrive on some scenes first before we get there, just to ensure that we're safe in doing our job. Therefore, stab to the forearm and just confirm code 8's on scene. Code 8 is our code for Saskatoon City Police. It's very important that we uh, secure the scene. The problem with a stabbing is that you don't know the depth of the injury. You can see on the surface the length and width, but you don't know how deep it's gone. Are we going right upstairs or? Okay. There could be an arterial bleed, and an arterial bleed is life threatening, and a person can die within minutes. Do you want to come to the truck? Maybe we'll check you out. Have a seat on the bench there, bro. Bleeding lots? It was. Okay, just leave it like that for now. Was it spurting blood or was yeah. it? At first it was. We see that city police have actually already applied a tourniquet to stop the bleeding. So what happened, bud? Sometimes somebody will have an injury that they can see or feel, but not realize they've been stabbed somewhere else. We call that a distracting injury. Is that it? You weren't stabbed anywhere else, eh? Poke me on this side somewhere, maybe on my hand. Yeah. They're so focused on the injury that they can see that they don't feel anything else. Can you move your fingers? I can, but, but, but my arm's going real numb. Like, yeah, that's yeah because the tourniquet's on. We put a tourniquet on above the wound, and we use it to stop the blood flow. I think we're going to try with the tourniquet off. I don't think it's arterial, and if we need to put the tourniquet back on, we can do that. We're going to keep it, though, just in case. Jersey, yeah. For a, a city police officer to identify a major wound like that, to have a tourniquet on him and essentially treat the patient before we even arrive is fantastic. Maybe I can have that thing back then. Do you want to toss me that tourniquet? Sure. Has blood on it. It was very quick thinking of the officer to apply that tourniquet. Not all police officers carry them. What type of knife did she use? Kitchen knife. He was lucky it could have been a lot worse. The knife was bigger, if it was sharper, could have died right then and there. I need a finger. <laughs> I was gonna die or something. Yeah, the mean streets of Saskatoon. 